The Centennial Reservoir and Pumping Station is just one of the many projects included in the Las Vegas Valley Water District's Capital Improvement Plan. This particular facility, while one of our smallest sites to date actually, consists of a 5 million gallon reservoir and a 38 million gallon per day pumping station. And within that pumping station, we have five vertical turbine pumps, each capable of producing over 7,000 uh, gallons per minute, uh, actually closer to 8,000 gallons per minute. This particular reservoir and pumping station is critical to the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley. It serves as additional storage for everybody within a pressure zone that we call the 2635 zone, but it also boosts water up to that next pressure zone, the 2745 zone. A pressure zone to us is generally speaking a change in elevation of about 150 feet. So if you imagine if you start off at say the airport and you need to go visit your family over in Summerlin, you are actually driving up hill in elevation and we have several pressure zones. So if you looked at our entire valley from north to south, from east to west, our valley is broken up into pressure zones as we change in elevation throughout. And within those pressure zones, we move water north and south in those pressure zones, but we can also pump water up to the next pressure zone or reduce them back down to lower pressure zones. Our entire system is interconnected and that gives us strong reliability throughout our community. Our infrastructure is truly connected. In fact, all of us are connected by our infrastructure. And all of this serves that northwest part of the valley, which allows for additional storage, redundancy, fire protection, and domestic use for all of the customers that are already living out there, as well as allowing for the continued growth within the northwest part of the Las Vegas Valley, including the most recent 500 acres that the Bureau of Land Management released to the development community. This particular pumping station and reservoir was not something that was easy. It was actually planned for a very, very long time, put on hold kind of during uh, COVID and so forth. And then right as we were coming out of COVID, we released that contract. The overall general contractor for the project was MMC, but they did not do this alone. It was actually the work of 37 different contracting companies to be able to put this together. And to kind of give it in a little bit of context, unlike most places throughout the United States, you don't see our above ground water tanks, water towers that you might see within say the Midwest part. We have the luxury of elevation within our Las Vegas Valley to be able to achieve the pressures that are necessary to get that water to your tap. So all of our reservoirs, for the most part, such like this, are below ground. And in that, it is consisting of almost 8,000 cubic yards of concrete. That's a lot of concrete. And over 801 tons of reinforcing steel are necessary to be able to put this humongous glass of water below ground. And that is here to serve you. It's necessary, not just for everybody within the northwest part of the valley, but we're able to backfeed and move water in and out of our pressure zones, again, providing that redundancy for everybody on that part of town. This is just another critical piece of infrastructure that all of our system is connected to, and it's providing you safe and reliable drinking water at the drop of your tap.